It is pretty late in the day already, so we're going to just get right into what happened last night, and then we'll carry on from there. Now, normally what I would do when I would bend something like this, I would bend it so that I was bending towards the creases or, or the detents or whatever you want to call it. However, if I do that, I'm going to be bending it towards or boxing in the, the uh, little lines where I'm supposed to put these angle brackets. So I have to bend it the other way so that these are going to be out. And so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I, I'm, I'm noticing that I can, I can uh, probably use these tweezers here uh, because I'm only going to get a couple of bends if I use Andy's photo wedge bender uh, anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure that I can carefully do that. I'll be bending, well, I'll put, put the macro lens on and I'll just go ahead and do it. Okay, so remember now we're going to be bending this the wrong way. Normally I would bend it this way. So we're going to turn it over. And hopefully these are going to bend in the right place. Yeah, it looks like they're going to. Okay, bend number one. Sorry to be taking it out of your vision there, but bend number two. Okay, now bend number three. It should just go the other way, right? Whoops. Bend number four. All right, now we've got our little our little part formed, and I I don't think I'm going to try and solder those those on. It just I'm taking too much time. Um, see, does that look square? Maybe this one here should be bent in just a little bit more. See, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bend this up. Yeah, I think that's going to fit up against the uh, up against the uh, mast. Looks okay to me. Yeah, I think I think that came out pretty good. Now, now I know I, I could give it a try. You know, try and solder this this edge here, and and but I'm just going to go ahead and CA it. I am spending so much time messing around, doing little things that. Maybe I don't really need to do. Um, I, I gotta get. I gotta get going here. I um, I got a comment from one of the viewers a couple of videos back, and uh, it, and it just sort of reminded me. The comment sort of went something like, uh, "When do you think you're going to have the hood in its case?" And it just got me to thinking. My goodness, uh, with all this fiddling around that I'm doing, I, I'm just not gonna. I'm just not gonna get it. Um, and I almost feel panicky sometimes when I think that. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and, and, and we'll, we'll just, uh, you can see how this is, is rounded in there and, and the, uh, just let me get this. You, you can see how this is supposed to fit in like that. Um, only not, whoops, only not, not there, of course. Um, anyway, let, let's just, uh, get, get at it. And get these three three brackets. Uh, well, maybe we should find out what is supposed to go in there. Maybe something has to go in there that that I have to spread this apart uh, to get it in because there are these these two holes there for something. 
Okay, I, I found what it was. If we uh, step ahead to uh, the last part of step 59, so let me move in a bit here. You can see that bracket, it's going to go right here. And this thing, this pin drops down into it, it's part of a boom affair. But we won't be there for a while. But at least uh, we don't have to put anything in the bracket now. Okay, let's just do a dry run here. I actually have not tried this yet. But I believe that this little box affair is supposed to fit over top of this raised squared off section here. Oh, and by the way, the, the uh, angle brackets go underneath, not on top. I had originally thought they went on top, but should have known better. Okay, I, I think we can we can uh, glue that on safely. Um, I'm just going to put some CA medium just just there and there, let it cure, and then reinforce it. Uh, I'll probably be able to reinforce it from the inside, so that uh, maybe I'll use CA thin and then reinforce it with the medium. Okay. I think I'm losing it because once again I forgot to press record and you didn't see me applying the, the thin right down there and also at the top and then putting this little bracket on. Um, I'm just going to give it a little bit of thin from the inside here. Okay, we'll uh, check that out after about an hour or so. Actually, it'll probably be in the morning now. Uh, in the meantime, I think that possibly we can uh, put the appropriate pieces in here. I, I know we only put it in two of these. One of these is, is left for uh, later. Okay, this time I double checked to make sure I pressed record. And you can see on, on the bottom there's a little hole in the bracket. I guess it's, they're supposed to fit over the pegs. Um, should I be doing a dry run? Yeah, I think that's going to fit okay. Well, and it, it goes on the two, uh, the two lower ones. Which is these two right here. Whoops. My glue is going to cure on me here. Oh my goodness, it almost fell on the floor. I'm going to get different tweezers. This one does not seem to want to go. Yeah, there's a hole there. There, I think 
I got it. Now these these are a little bit offset. Okay, like I, I know that this one it, it appears to be slumped more this way, and this one is sort of oh, it's sort of straight out. Okay, let's let that cure, and then we'll reinforce them later. Okay, let's just do a dry run here. Okay, if I can hold it like that. Now we're just going to put just the tiniest amount against the post. I do have that at the right angle, yeah. pick it up. Now I've got it wet. Okay. I know I should have the macro lens on, right? There. Uh, it, it looks like it should lean out just a little bit, but I think I'm going to leave well enough alone there. Sure, now he puts on the macro lens. Okay, for perspective. Okay, I think we did pretty good this evening. When you uh, stop to consider that for a while there I wasn't going to come back to the model table. Uh, but I sort of sat down and looked at everything and next thing I knew I was poking around at it. Anyway, we'll see you in the morning. Now, a moment ago, I looked up at my clock and I, I realized that if I didn't hurry up and press record, I wouldn't be able to say, well, it's morning. I'd have to say, it's afternoon. Yeah, I got to do other things this morning. It's kind of neat the way these little uh, pulleys actually turn. Okay, moving right along here, we already got the B37, that little round thing. I think it represents a little a little adjustment wheel. Uh, I guess in real life it would not have been so little. It probably would have been a couple of feet across. Um, now, D5, the little pedestal part, we didn't get that. And photo etch, B13. Okay, D5. Now I was kind of wondering there, did I maybe nip that a little bit too close to the uh, actual pedestal itself, but I think I did leave enough but after I trim that off, it's kind of, I don't know. I think it's going to be okay. Okay, while I was trimming that down, 
it almost appears as though it was supposed to be a keyed part. You notice the little peg part of it that, that comes out of there, it, it almost looks that way. Um, but, but why would something that's perfectly cylindrical be keyed? I think maybe it's just a case of uh, it wasn't designed quite right. Anyway, let's uh, find the piece of photo etch that it's supposed to stick into. Okay, B13 here. And I imagine from your perspective you can't notice how spindly these pieces are that are coming down that later have to be bent at about a 90 degree angle and probably go right down to the deck somewhere. Well, we'll do the best we can, won't we? Now for those of you who at the beginning of the episode missed this, well here it is. Okay, here's something that I just noticed. You can see where there's the three uh, grooves where we have to mount angle brackets underneath. This is ob obviously, I'm, I'm touching now the, the underside uh, of this thing. And you can see the hole right here where this pedestal thing is supposed to come through. Now, clearly, if one of those angle brackets is going to go right across the bottom, the, and, and the pedestal is coming through from the other side, the, this peg has to be trimmed down a lot shorter than, than what we did here. Um, yeah, just sort of thinking out loud again. Okay, we have one number B25. put my finger on it because I was afraid it could ping off. Um, yeah, there's uh, overspray from when I was spraying the railings. Did I mention I'm not going to do that anymore? And there are two number 31s. Now, I've already done the other the other one, so this should come loose now. Oh, I guess I didn't do this one here. I did now. There we go. Okay, you know what happens Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I think a lot of you might remember what happened last Monday. My house was kind of smoky and my neighbor couldn't come over, but I was talking to him earlier and he's coming over today. So I'm going to call this, uh, this video quits here for today. And, uh, oh, one of the viewers asked me about this uh, photo wedge bender. And he, he was mentioning he had never seen one uh, made out of brass before. Well, this is handmade by a fellow by the name of uh, Andy Whitaker, and uh, he lives here in Canada, 
And he uh, he sent this to me. It'll be uh, uh, in about two about a month, less than a month. It'll be two years ago. So uh, yeah. Anyway, just thought I'd throw that in. Uh, Andy, if you're listening, thanks again. Well, I use this a lot. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well, we'll be seeing you tomorrow. And all being well, I will come at this again this evening, and we will attach it to the beginning of tomorrow's episode. And uh, I'll try to remember to start off the uh, episode correctly. See you tomorrow.